Hey guys, I'm Ouroboros, let's play Persona 5 Royal. It is November 8th, and last time we were talking about how court trials work. Today, we'll be learning about... What, you're asking if the Phantom Thieves would be given a trial if they get caught? Of course they would. All they would need to do is prove a link between their deaths and their activities. In short, they'd be put on trial for murder. Hey, Amamiya. Yes, tell me how old you have to be to listen in on a trial. To listen in on a trial, and you should know this because we did sit in on one, that's any age. There is no limit. That's right, no age restrictions for listening in on a trial. You can get in whether you're 0 or 85, but if you're 86, it's like when the, it's like when you get a Lego set and it's like from ages 9 to 99, and it's like, well, I'm 100 years old, so like I guess I can't build Legos anymore. Anyway, youth crimes are an exception, but it's basically open to the public, meaning you can all go attend. Well, I imagine the visitor seats will be full if the Phantom Thieves were put to trial. Everyone is dying to know who exactly the culprits are and how they did it. Yeah, 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 we're super smart, but we need to be careful of this because it seems like Saison wants to put us on trial for murder, and I don't think she can find a connection, but you never know. However, their method and how it connects to the murder must be proven in order to sentence them. The methods that the Phantom Thieves use far exceed human knowledge. I'd imagine in order to prove it, you'd have to catch them in the act. Huh. Yeah, I don't really know how they would catch us in the act. Especially because Sai doesn't know about the metaverse, but... I don't know. We gotta be careful. We don't want to get... We don't want to get caught up in all this, and we don't want to... Uh, get put on trial, because Sai seems determined to have us prosecuted. Even though she doesn't have any evidence, but as you know... Court trials. What do now? Send the calling card. I forgot about this. For, so for whatever reason, the guy says us to go to the hideout, view the request, and then exit. I don't know, but uh, anyway, like I was saying, court trials in Japan, the prosecution has a win rate of like 99.9%. .9%, so if you get, um, what's it called? Not sentenced. Um, oh crap. Put on. It's a word that means put on trial, not accused. I'm such an idiot, I can't remember any words. But anyway, back to the thing that's 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 that, that's on the screen. So, when do you want to send it? The earlier the better, right? No. In my opinion, we should wait until right before the time limit. May I ask your reasoning behind that idea? Saison is a realist, even if she believes the Phantom Thieves exist. Do you think she knows how they steal hearts? Furthermore, there is a chance she expects that she herself will be targeted. So because her heart is ready for any possibility, the calling card might not have enough effect? I only say that theoretically, but I believe so. Hence, it would be prudent for us to wait until we are driven into a corner to act. If we do so with no time to spare, I assume even Saison would have to be somewhat agitated. Hmm. Ensuring the treasure actually appears. That sounds quite logical. Impressive, Akechi-kun. Though, it is a bit vexing that you know more about my sister than I do. <laughs> oh, that's only because of my work as a detective. Well then, if our time limit is November 20th, and we act the day after sending the calling card, shall we send it out on the 18th? We should prepare as much as we can before then. Well, I can't complain about having more time. Make sure you're ready, everyone. And I googled it while they were talking indict, indict, that was the word I was talking about. So, you heard them, we actually can't send the calling card. We have to wait until the 18th to send it. And that actually does make a lot of sense, because if you think about it, when we got caught, we have to get caught at a very specific date, like, you know, in other instances, like, you could send a calling card on a different day that I send it, but we all have to get caught at the beginning of the game, or as of what's coming up at the same time. But anyway, uh, we need to view the request like the guide says for some reason. I don't know why, but it, it is what it is. True, I guess there's no point in letting time go to waste while we wait for the day of the heist. Oh, I wonder if that's a, a, a unique line for this arc, but whatever. For sure, let's get in there and do what we can before our last job. Yes, it matters not how the public views us. Let us help those in trouble. Well, everyone's here. This is a good opportunity to sort through the mementos target info we have. We'll start with this one first. This one's a particularly dangerous one. This intel is on an ex-mercenary assassin. 
From what I can tell, he acts like a homeless man, but secretly carries out assassination... I feel like we've already read this before. Maybe I read it when I, like, messed up a save file or something. I don't know. Whatever. Or maybe I did it on... I don't know. I've played a lot of this game. Sometimes my playthroughs get all jumbled up in my head. If not, even the police can deal with him. It's time for us to step in. Really? It'd be bad if we let such a dangerous guy out on the loose. We have to change his heart. We need to take him down, take down the evil that can't be judged by law. And the next one is a man who is making a fortune. To oh, that's Chihai is. I forgot about that. He called himself the chairman of an organization, but he's nothing but a money scamming fraud. Indeed. This must be regarding Chihai Mufune, the fortune teller you had mentioned before. To think she has been dragged into such a dishonest cult. What a despicable money monger. We shall bring his true nature to light in mementos. Seems tough. But I think we can accomplish this if you say we can. Nice. Next one. I already left the calling card in our target's home. Uh, this is from the owner of the Central Street Airsoft Shop. Apparently an acquaintance is threatening him. This acquaintance, Suda, is a professional. If we don't hurry, Iwai will be in serious danger. That man's pretty freaking scary. In any case, this time we're up against a real criminal. He'll be a worthy opponent. It seems tough, but I think we can accomplish this if we say we can. Nice. And we're ready to do this, blah, blah, blah. Next one is, uh, parents of Futaba's friend, Kana. They force Kana to take immoral jobs so they can pay off their debt. Ever since she was young, they've trampled all over her life. I'm going to crush them. I'll save Kana-chan. Nice. Sounds good to me. Nice. And no objections. Looks like if we're, uh, we're good to go, if you're okay with it, that's a unanimous decision. All that's left down is to take down the target in mementos. So you should have one, two, three, four, five. Six request. Uh, the winners don't use cheese. That's from earlier. That's the one Memento's mini boss request who we couldn't damage because he was cheating in Gunabout, so that one's not going to be new. Uh, again, I don't know why it has us go and talk about the request and then immediately exit. Maybe there's something that I'm missing, but eh, it is what it is. Next on the agenda for today is we are going to hang out with Makoto. Uh, so make sure you do have a priestess persona on hand. You're going to need it. And I should have one, right? Because I... Yep, Kakuri Hime. I actually have... I have an open slot. Eh, it's fine. I'll figure it out. Not a huge deal. So let's see what she has to say. No, I shouldn't let myself worry about her. We'll just have to wait and see for the time being. Oh, Eiko said she had a favor to ask. But I've been pushing it off. Do you think you could maybe come with me to see her? Yeah, let's see what she's got. Thank you. It's reassuring to know you'll be there with me. She's waiting over at Big Bang Burger. Let's go. Oh, that one stings a little bit. But I guess we can't really decide it. So, what did you want to talk about? Well, um, I was wondering if you could maybe lend me some cash. <laughs> what? It's nothing real major, but I need it, like, right now. I'll pay you back, though. Honest. Please. Does this have to do with Sukasa? Mm-hmm. He dropped a super expensive bottle of sake at work, so the club's making him pay for it. But he needs help. He's lying to you, Eiko. Don't give him any money. He's not lying. I know you're all weird about the fact that he's a host, but my Tsukasa's not like that. He's really gentle and honest, too. He even calls me princess. I'm the only one who says that to you, know? He says it's because I'm special. So he calls you his special princess. What do you think, Renkun? Yeah, he, he definitely says that to all of his girls. I have to agree. Every girl who gives him money is his princess. That way he can never get their names mixed up. Don't accuse him of that stuff. You don't have any proof. You're not wrong about that. But did you ask anyone at his club about the broken bottle? Uh, wh well, um, no. He told me not to talk to them about it, though. He's too proud to have me go crying to his boss. Please, Makoto. You're the only person I can trust. All my other friends would rather focus on cram school and entrance exams than take time to help me. And who knows what my parents say if I tried to talk to them. Please, even a little. I think you should end your relationship with him. If you don't put a stop to this, he might try to drag you into some suspicious line of work. Oh, he already got me a job. It's nothing weird, though. I'm just serving drinks at a bar to help him pay off that broken bottle. He said I'll be number one in no time. Maybe I'll just keep doing it after I graduate high school, though. I mean... It's not like I'm going to go to college. Eiko, you can't just do what he says. He's trying to deceive you. A smart person like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. 
You're just going to go to a good college, work at a fancy company, and then what? At the end of the day, your life's going to be totally boring. I mean, is that seriously how you want to live? I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you should still stay as far away from him as you can. So you're not going to help me. Ugh, forget it. I can make it up if I just let some customers take me out on dates after work. Aiko, wait! I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Sukasa has been texting me almost constantly. Recently, he's been asking if my sister and I live alone, that he'd be glad to help us out. Even today, he asked me if I'm still happy with my boyfriend. Listen to me, Aiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that crap. Sukasa's just so nice that he'd worry about my friends for me. Wait, you were texting him behind my back? What the hell, Makoto? It was mostly him texting me. Ugh, you have the grades, the looks, a cool boyfriend, and you seriously still want more? Tsukasa is all I have. You can't take him away from me. Please listen. That's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, right. Just keep your hands off. I'd never forgive you if you stole him away, Makoto. <sighs> Tsukasa is all she has? You know, I think she's exactly the kind of girl those gang gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. Lonely, depressed girls who have nowhere to vent their frustrations. Actually, Eiko's family is quite well off. Her multi-talented younger brother seems to be the sole focus of her parents' attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Sukasa in the first place. He treats her like she's special, but asking a high schooler for money isn't normal boyfriend behavior. She needs to realize that. You're gonna help, right? Yeah, absolutely. We can't let this slide. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's reassuring to hear you say that. Eiko's blessed to have both money and a family, yet she's still trying to break free from them. She's almost the exact opposite of me. But I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. I was so blinded by my own convictions that I never stopped to consider other alternative viewpoints on the world. But that's not the right way to live. I want to show her that. Just like you did for me. And I can sense a deep bond of trust from Makoto. And with that, we unlock Priestess rank 8. We get Endure, and we've only got two more Confidant ranks with Makoto. I know she wants me to stay out of her business, but I'd never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. What is the right way to live? At any rate, we're going to catch that horrible host. I'll let you know once I've thought of how to do so. All right. And we will see Makoto later. I guess we gotta do something about Tsukasa. No mementos request yet, but maybe that'll come later? Not many ranks left, so it'd have to come pretty soon. Oh, and today, or rather tonight, we are gonna head over to Kichijoji, Darts and Billiards, and we're gonna hit up Penguin Sniper. Hit up Penguin Sniper. So, you're gonna wanna go ahead and save your game. What is it today? Is it the 8th? It is the 8th. We are keeping your diary up to date, huh? Wish there's something we could do to your criminal record. Yeah, can't erase the past, but we can change the future. And we are yet again going to play darts, and we are going to invite a catchy. Uh, play darts with a catchy. Yep, that's correct. And he's ranked two. Again, you can't rank a catchy up to rank three in one go because he plays seven and one, and mathematically. It just doesn't work out, so that means Morgana is always going to show up here because cats can play darts. Hey. Fortunately, once we get to his turn, we can just yeah. skip because uh, he's already maxed out. But the good thing is that there's actually something that I forgot to show off the last time we were here with Akechi. And that is yes. when you go to aim. So my button is ZR. That's right trigger on GameCube controllers, I assume. And... PlayStation is, uh, probably, it's either R1 or R2, I believe. If you see, I have ZL. This is third eye. This slows things down for you to make it easier. You can see it speeds up when I don't have it. And then when I press uh, ZL for third eye, it gets all blue and slower. Uh, but it doesn't really matter too much just because once you have the dart set, I feel like darts become significantly easier. Uh, but it's just, it's nice to have, if you are in like a normal playthrough where you aren't using a guide, um, it can make it easier, like if you're not good at darts, or if you haven't done as many rounds with the other characters as you would here, but 
Anyway, Akechi's up next, and like I said last time, Akechi will only throw bullseyes. And you can also see he's using his left hand. So he's he's serious about this. I'd be interested to see if he could throw all bullseyes with his right hand. That would be impressive. I can't throw bullseyes when I'm a foot away from the board. Granted, I never play darts. Because I don't have any friends to play darts. I also don't have a board to play darts. I had one when I was a kid, but that was uh, probably 15 years ago at this point. Maybe more. But it's our turn. Things are getting interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, Mr. Detective Prince. Uh, you're not the first Detective Prince. You may be better, potentially, than Naoto, but it is what it is. Uh, if you have not played P4, since we're talking about Detective Prince stuff, I would recommend it. I really like Persona 4 Golden. Uh, I think the dungeons are a little outdated, but it's a fantastic game. It, it has my favorite main group. The investigation team is my favorite of the three, uh, at least until Persona 6 comes out. Whatever the main group looks like for that. And I'm nowhere near... I'm like five hours in the metaphor still because I'm trying to finish Zelda before that comes out and eh, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, and I catch he's going to go 150 on here because that's what he does. But yeah, would recommend playing P4G. Uh, it's on all the systems that got Royal, Portable, and Golden. And I think it's probably like 15, 20 bucks. So it's definitely a deal. It's... If it had, I would honestly be interested to see a remake where they turn the dungeons into those like in P5, because I think it would it would work well with that. It's not like P3 where you've got Tartarus and Tartarus is just kind of Tartarus. Uh, you can't really do much to change it. I think that would have been asking for a lot for a remake, and I just need to hit one here. But I think I've got to move my controller. <laughs> um, I think that'd be interesting, because I think that at least with the theming there, you know, you've got something that you can play off of. Whereas with Tartarus, it's like, that's kind of a main part of the story that you keep climbing, climbing, and climbing. But we finished our 701 game with Akechi. And we're all maxed out on his baton pass, which is not going to be super helpful because obviously this is... I mean, he joined super late, so we don't get to use him very much, but I'm going to call it a day so you can just skip this. Sorry, Morgana. Huh? Ah, oh, but I was all raring to go. Oh, well, I'm sure you've got a lot to think about. We'll play next time. Dude, you're all maxed out. It's fine. Nice. And I played really well. You should get... Do you get two points? Do I get two points? I guess it doesn't really matter. I do get two points. So you should get proficiency plus two. Hopefully. Maybe just one, but... We get a point with them, and... Uh, we can try and have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say that all the time, Morgana. Goodbye. I will see you guys next time.